Uh, very good morning to everybody. This is Ben from Shandong, Longchang. Today I will give a presentation which is on rebuilders uh, in Vietnamese culture. Okay, when I see this photo, I will be very happy. As a farmer, you see the capital pancreas is so clear, sharp, and the intestine is full. And the whole body is transparent. Hopefully, your guys will like this two photo. Okay, today my talking point will be covering the following species of how the species of harmful vibrio disease diseases caused by vibrio. Okay, the potential reasons of vibrio multiplying. The the last one will be prevention and the solutions. For the diseases, I will highlight on um, the common one, which is the uh, red leg and uh, the white faces. Okay, let's start. Okay, the first, I'd like to introduce some knowledge on the Vibrio. So far, at least 14 species of Vibrio have been reported in shrimp culture throughout the world. Okay, like the Vibrio Hawaii, and the Vibrio Arduino, like Kurtz, and uh, also Vibrio Angry Laron, and so on, okay? So the first diseases will be syndrome of red leg. Okay, through this two photo, we can see when the shrimp infect by the Vibrios, the tail Okay, will become red, and uh, even the the legs will become red too. Okay, the worst situation is the whole body of the shrimp will become red. That is very very dangerous. Maybe the mortality will be very high. Okay, also the shrimp won't uh, mm, stop feeding and uh, swimming slowly. So finally, the intestine will the intest the intestine will empty. Okay. So finally, the hepatopancreas will be like this, very cloudy, become pale, and uh, also the whole intestine is empty and the antenna. We can see antenna broken. Okay. So. This uh, that is the red leaf. The following will be the white faces diseases. Okay, this is the white faces. At the beginning stage, the faces like this. Okay, actually, the intestine not filled with the white faces. Not the I mean the, not the real faces. Actually, the epithelial cells of hepatopancreas and the intestine. Then the shrimp also stop feeding. White faces will be floating in the water body. All the all your pan. Okay? So this is a normal healthy uh, intestine of shrimp and this is uh, filled with all the white faces. Okay. A not treat immediately the mortality of shrimp will up to 90 percent okay this is a dying just die and the potential reasons of vibrio multiplying when your shrimp under stress like the following factors by the following factors like the poor water quality which is ammonia nitrate when ammonia and nitrate go up, they definitely will damage the hepatopancreas. Then the following shrimp stop feeding or less feed. Another is overcrowding. Now, from the different country, the density will be very a lot. Like China, we can get thousand and five hundred pl per square meter. But like Indian and uh, Ecuador, only from 5 to 10 to 20 to 30 per square meters. Okay, so the higher the density, the higher the risk. I 
really don't agree the higher the density equal to the higher the production unless you manage properly you have the knowledge okay so another is a uh, high water temperature when the temperature go up 35 degrees Celsius definitely will stress your stream so the bottleneck actually is a DO dissolved oxygen remember always keep the dissolved oxygen above 5 milligram per liter if less than 3 less than 2 definitely your stream will got problem easily another especially during the late part of culture the low water exchange you know the loading rate is so high the nutrients over there if no water change your algae bloom will come in once algae bloom definitely your pH will fluctuate very low in a day okay maybe sometimes above 9.2 okay another is a daily management especially for the feeding when the weather change like the, the raining day or the temperature go down so remember feeding less otherwise if overfeeding definitely will pollute your water okay so another is uh, the high mortality usually occur in PL and the young juvenile stream for the prevention and the solutions since the wet faces is so serious how are we going to prevent and what are what is our solutions first start before start farming you have to sterilize the pump and the water body okay so how to sterilize the pump you drain in the pump you drying maybe one month maybe depends on your situation and also use a limestone okay for the water body we always use the bleach chlorine dioxide to sterilize but remember before you release your PL you have to you the better to test the water see whether the PL can left in the water or not because the chlorine because the limestone okay the, the, the way is very simple you can get from the hatchery get the PL from the hatchery put in your water uh, after 24 hours if no any day you just start your farming if you find only one or two you have to find out what's the reason is it due to the, the water or PL itself okay during the culturing you have to you the better use some probiotics okay we always use a mixture of bacillus EM and uh, like two bacillus okay different probiotic is called a different function So for the late part, I mean the, during the period of disease outbreak, when your loading rate is so high, you better use combination of probiotics, probiotics and non-antibiotic products. Uh, maybe the same situation in China, we totally not allowed to use the antibiotic product in aquaculture industry I think many countries also forbid then but the virus is there how are we going to control the quality of the virus? now we are using the natural product which is a UK lactose oil and some herb extract to control the virus in the water body okay but uh, remember the herb extract may or may not got toxin if got toxin control the dosage if overdose definitely will damage the hepatopancreas then affect your shape okay so i strongly advise use 
UK lactose oil. Okay, this is a, why I advise this product. Okay, because the this oil have the very very strong penetration to membrane of vibrio. Then after that, kill ninety percent vibrios. Okay, this is a culture method in, in our country. This is a really, really high dense, super intensive farming, which just now I mentioned, the density can reach 1,500 pL per square meter. Okay, this is a semi-intensive, maybe only 200 to 500 pL per square meters. Of course, if you have any question, please feel free to contact me. Hopefully this video will be helpful and wish you have a good harvest. See you next time. This is my WhatsApp. You can contact me through WhatsApp.